Hello and welcome back to Indoor Games. My name is Casey. I'm pretty sure. And today we will once again be continuing our Sith Inquisitor story playthrough of Star Wars The Old Republic. And this guy has been standing here for 367 days. He hasn't moved. The same expression on his face the entire time. He's good at what he does. What does he do? I don't know, but he's good at it. He's definitely good at whatever it is that he does. I'm not exactly sure what it is. But he's amazing at it. With the defenses disabled, the mysterious... The mysteries of Revan's secret back facility... In the upper industrial sector can be explored. General Colvin has asked you to investigate the complex further. Discover what happened to the alien slaves within the recover within and recover Revan's mysterious cargo. Investigate Revan's secret facility in the upper industrial sector. Well, after it took me a second to remember how to read again, I got through that. Okay, so we're going to the industrial sector to find out some secrets and mysteries about Revan. I'm sure it'll be fun stuff. I'm sure once we get there and find out what it is, we're all go, oh my goodness. I never knew that. Or we won't do any of those things. That is always extremely possible. And yesterday, after I, uh, I tweaked my combat proficiencies a little bit, I got this new move where it's basically... It's basically the original move where you're just shooting lightning, but it shoots three targets at once instead of two. I mean one. <laughs> and this thing, uh, in lightning, applies suppressive current to all targets it hits. The next four storm detonates the current, doing additional damage. I don't think I did anything with these. I think I just have them. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Tune in next time to find out. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Oh wait, there was a guy in there. I, I should have talked to him. I'm coming back. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm glad I caught your attention. The Empire sent me to negotiate the exclusive sale of several new armor designs, but the sellers are driving an expensive bargain. Yeah. I'd prefer to keep these credits in Imperial hands. Did you say credits? Now you've got me interested. The gangsters who managed to liberate those designs are making a show of their willingness to sell the plans to the highest bidder. Either the Republic is willing to pay a lot more for these designs than we are, or the thugs are attempting to pad the negotiations. In either case, I'm done playing their games. I'd rather eliminate them and take the plans by force. I'll do it. Just show me where the fun is. Here's where the negotiations are taking place. They won't expect this, but they are heavily armed. Oh, don't worry about that. I know how to shoot lightning at people's faces. It's great. You want to see? See, look at that. Pretty cool, huh? I thought it was pretty cool. Let's get out of here, Val. He, I don't like that guy. He didn't even go, Whoa, that was cool or nothing. Nothing. Oh, what do you want? A heroic mission, eh? Hmm. Hmm. We'll come back to you. I've got a few things going on at the moment. Oh yeah, I have a jetpack. Isn't it amazing? I think it is. You know how many people after the Mandalorian came out probably got a jetpack in this game? I bet it was astronomical. The guy came in from nowhere. That's not true, he came from somewhere.
It's an interesting room. It's me, that guy. What guy? I don't know. That takes care. Oh, uh, maybe I want. I might want to pick up. A little bit of the money. We want the money. Everybody wants the money. The moolah, the mucha, the money. Think I could make it? Nope. I, I had a feeling I wasn't going to make it. Alright, here we go. Ugh. I made it. I made it inside the barrier of doom. What the hell happened in here? What happened in here, Val? Sight is like. I have not yet sated my hunger. That's good, good, good. Oh, these are robots. Never mind. I was going to say you could eat these, but... Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Note to self, don't walk on those. Don't walk on those, you will get stuck. Not a good idea, not a good look either. Alright Val, here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna go over there first, because I'm tired of people hitting me. <laughs> see, see how much better that was? They didn't hit me at all. They hit you a lot though, but I don't care about that. That's what you're there for. I'm sorry. The Revan was here yesterday. Okay. It is a gift to be in the presence. I felt the force that travels below your skin, straight to the heart, the lungs, the gut, a warmth, and a chill. The Revan said it is the force that feeds the infinite engine. We feed it with our thoughts, our love, our hatred. All that we feel, it turns to energy and nourishes us in return. They say once we live without the engine, without the Revan, I do not wish to imagine such a life. Yeah, it's like living without the internet now. They tell us we once lived without it. Don't want to, though. Except I experienced living without the internet, so I know it's true. And it... It sucked. It kind of sucked. The world was in a way a much better place though. But I was much more bored than I am now. Even though somehow I still find myself being extremely bored. Maybe it's because we just get spoiled and get used to all these luxuries and we don't realize uh, all the incredible crap that we actually have right in front of our faces. You know? Oh, what's over here? What did you just say to me, Gal? I don't see it. I don't see it. Eh. I grow stronger with every moment. I know. I know. You've said. You've told me. Did I ever tell you that I don't care?
What happened over here? My grandfather's grandfather once stood in the presence of the rivet. It is hard to believe. They say we once lived on the surface and walked in the light of the suns and the moons. It's hard to believe. Here the light in the infinite engine warms our skin and lets us look upon our faces. The Revan said to dedicate each newborn child to the machine. It is his first touch to feel when they emerge from their mother's bodies. The Revan said to give our dead to the machine and takes back all that it gave to them through the years and returns it to us as food and as medicine. Our homes are built and heated from their bodies. Are dead. Oh. No one understands when I ask the question, would this seem strange? What did we give up when we swore ourselves to the service of the Revan? I don't know. What did you give up in exchange for the service of the Revan? Was it what was it this? Oh, this guy is laying in a very odd position. He's he looks like he's laying on his back like he had his like arched like his pelvis arched up into the air and then his hand you know his arm is here and his hand is right there you know with his pelvis arched with his back on the ground I don't know what what do you think this guy was doing do we do it we do right We do it? Okay, we're doing it. You need to stop doing that. What did you say to me? You grow stronger with every moment. Yep, we've been... Oh, no, that was the same thing he said earlier. Hold on. Yes, my master. But what, what? I didn't tell you to do anything. What are you talking about? I'm confused now. Stupid box. Hit it, hit it, don't stop, keep going, right there. Is it above me or something? I think it's above me or something. Let me try to let me try to get over there without setting off all the other stuff. Hello. He's he's behind you, Val. He's right here. There you go, right there, right in front of you. Look, it's another one. What are all these people doing? Oh my, this guy too. He's doing it too. Look at him. He's even got his head right here resting. And it, My goodness. What an embarrassing way to go. Do not lose faith, my brothers. For, ten gen for two tens of generations, we have kept our pledge. We will not emerge before the sign. The Revan left us words to live by. There will be a sign. Someone will come. We will seek the machine. Someone worthy. It's me. 
Hold fast to your purpose, for that time will come. Your children will see the day, or their children, or hundreds of generations hence. Hold fast, for the day will come when we are tested, and we must be ready. Will it be a worthy soul who breaches our defenses, or must we kill and die to defend the Revan machine, or whatever he said? I didn't catch that last word, because you cut me off. You cut me off. Okay, now I gotta try to get to the other side. Break free to the other side. There we go, we're doing it. We're doing it. Hello. Is it this, ooh, a control pad or something? Oh, it's a journal. Oh, I like journals. That was a lie, I don't know. Fools on both sides, all who thought the Star Forge a mere weapon. It's a seed of world, such power even in a fragment. Beat that would have made of, almost level now, one of the smallest piece, it cannot build ships. My goodness, this is going fast. Air, life. It feeds on the force, on energy, on mass, or whatever you give it. I'm just positive you went. I'm just going so fast. I guess they just, they were like, no one wants to get through the reading of the damn journal. We'll just go right through it. I mean, I, as I as much as I do agree with you, I would have liked to have at least read the damn thing. Oh, is this the machine they were talking about? Oh, there's a guy there. <laughs> Sorry, sir, I didn't see you there. Um, what the hell are you? You're, you honor us with your presence, great one. Welcome to our home. We are servants of the Raven, custodians of the Infinite Engine. And and what is the Infinite Engine? I don't see anything infinite looking around. I should ask that question. He's gonna say a whole bunch of stuff. Can you not build the wondrous machine's power? Did he just pass the Infinite Rose? It was the size of a fingertip when we came here. And it sustained a few. Now the infinite engine is large enough to sustain many of our people. It fulfills our every need. Food, clothing, tools, and even weapons and mechanical beings. You mean robots? Where did uh, where'd Revan get this thing? Tell me everything you know about the infinite engine. Starting with where it came from. All we know is that the infinite engine was once part of an even greater machine. Once that built... The Revan's mighty empire. More than that, we cannot say only the Revan knows the infinite engine secrets. We are merely caretakers. If you become a servant of the Revan, the infinite engine will also provide for you. I'd serve no one, buddy. I have better things to do than join your little cult. The Revan decreed only those who nurture the infinite engine may reap it. Without the infinite engine, our people will wither and die. However, we are willing to gift you a seed from it. The seed will require many ages of nurturing, but one day you will have an infinite engine just like ours. I'm sorry, buddy, but I have to choose the, the, the option you're probably not going to like, because I said that's what I was going to do. I have to stick to it. As much as I don't like it, I'm going to do it. Plus, on my other Sith playthrough, I did choose... To leave you with the seed, so I, I'm sorry. I'm not leaving here without that machine. Revan warned us someone might come to steal the infant engine. We promised never to allow that. Okay then. I really don't want to take it from you, buddy. It's just, you know, that's the option they gave me. If there would have been like a third option, like I'm, I'll take half of it. <laughs> would have been a different story then. 
But I have to stick to the mindless drone of being a Sith in this playthrough because that's what I said I was going to do. So that's just going to be how it is. I'll do other playthroughs and we'll be nicer to people, you know. I mean, in my last playthrough, I was pretty freaking nice. I was looking at... I was way above in light side points compared to dark side points. I, I chose good more than I did dark pretty much every time in that in that playthrough. Which is pretty much why I chose to do the opposite in this one. Plus, I kind of figured a guy running around throwing lightning at people would probably be evil, and he would choose the more evil choices, so it kind of just felt like that's what I should go with. So here we are. That's what we did, that's what we went with, that's what we got. That's what happened. Now, let's see, where exactly are we, and where do we have to go? Oh, I'm not that far away, I'll just go there. I mean, I have a jetpack after all, I might as well use it. Might as well. It's on my back. What happens to it when you take it off? Well, if you've seen Dragon Ball, you know, Dragon Ball Z, you know what a capsule is. And, you know, from the Capsule Corporation, that's what that's exactly what it is. Here is the secret Darth Revan was hiding from us in that complex. I can feel it humming with power. Can you? What is it? Some sort of device. It's a Tamagotchi. Powerful things. It's a Tamagotchi fused with a Furby. Those were both pretty popular at the same time. At least, if I'm remembering it correctly. It's the all-powerful Furby Tamagotchi. You never thought you'd see it, but the day has arrived. And here it is. It's the infinite engine, buddy. The descendants of Revan's slaves were worshipping it. They called it their infinite engine. Okay, Val. You don't like that, Val? Fine, here we go. Here we go, Val. You don't like that? Fine. Here is the secret Darth Revan was hiding from. Here we go. Here. Do I look like a scientist to you? There you go. Quite right. Can I sense I'll have much to learn? Was there anything else in the complex? Did you find evidence of Darth Revan's alien slaves? I found an also very rare Pikachu Tamagotchi. Sweet, huh? They're still in there. Descendants of those slaves are still living in the complex. Troubling. If we're ordered to occupy the complex, I hope those vermin don't pose any problems. The Emperor will be pleased. I know, Val, He's done a he doesn't job. like anything I'll I have say. have this machine transported to Drummond Cass for study. With any luck, we can put it to good use. You have fun with that? I'm happy to see you're so pleased. I've just received a request for assistance from my colleague Major Damaris in network access. If you visit that sector, he could use you. Good for him. Congratulations, I guess? I don't really know what else to say to that. He can use me? Well, fuck him. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't. Sorry. Sorry. But yeah. Screw that guy. He can use you. I don't want to be used by anybody. Where am I going? What am I doing? I think I'm going to go do that one thing. 
the bidding war, the defeat, the arms dealer, and the stuff, and the things. And the recover the experimental armor plans. Hopefully it'll be quick. Well, you leave me alone. Stop it. Let's quit it. You ignore me too. I'm not. I'm not even here. Figment of your tiny, puny little imagination. Well, that see the, the trade I got was, I didn't get brains. I just got an imagination. Is it a good one? I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I'm not open-minded enough to know. Hello, what are you guys doing? Just sitting around? You're gonna yell at me, aren't you? You son of a... These guys are mean. You know what we do to mean people around here? We do that. Exactly what he just did. You guys are pretty mean too, huh? Hit him, hit him. There we go. We did it. We're pretty amazing, aren't we, Val? Why are you, why are you doing that? <laughs> I guess everybody just bunch up over here and then we'll... Oh. Let me guess, you're gonna say something like... I absorb their essence and it makes me stronger or some stupid shit like that. When your enemies meet death, it is my face that shall greet them. Okay, I like that. I like that. Not bad. That's better than what I said. Way better than what I came up with. Way better than anything I thought of. Maybe I don't have a very good imagination after all. <laughs> I'm just stupid and I'm unimaginative. Oh, it's right here on the table. Experimental armor plans. Here we go. Oh, we got them already? That's quick. Oh. I'm so I'm lost. <laughs> I'm so lost. Please help me. Please, sir. I have no idea where I'm going. Could you point me in the direction of my home? I don't know who the hell you are. I don't know where you live. Ja? Ja? What did you say to me? What does that even mean? Ja, you. Ja, rule? 
soon I will devour you, little Sith. That's freaking mean. You said all that with just jaw? <laughs> okay. Well, you have a very intricate language or something, then what What the hell is that? I don't know, all I said was Ja, and apparently that was, I'm gonna kill you one day and eat you. And I was like, oh my goodness. But I don't want that to happen. Could you please not do that? Much appreciated. Much obliged. Leave me alone. Okay, you know what? You know what? Hughes. <laughs> He's laughing at me. What the John? He's like, good. He deserved you deserve to be laughed at. <laughs> They're still laughing at me. Oh, I'd hate to fight that guy. You're just punching him in the face and you just laugh at you. <laughs> you're really, you're really messing him up, but it doesn't seem like you are. It's confusing. I got what you wanted. I got it. Let me... Yes, looky, yes. looky. This is everything they were offering. Hey, man. I can't believe such scum <laughs> were able to get their hands on these. My superiors will be pleased to see I was able to acquire them. Of course, those extra credits need to go somewhere, and you are the hero of the hour. I got these cheeseburgers, man. <laughs> They're pretty good cheeseburgers, too. You wouldn't think a cheeseburger that's been in a guy's pocket for 23 hours would be tasty, but I don't know. I guess it just kept it warm or something. I don't know. But what I do know is that I'm going to end this one here because this seems like an okay time to end it before we get into all this other stuff that's going to take all this time and everything, you know. You know how that goes. You know how that goes. If you don't know how that goes, I don't know. <laughs> Figure it out. I'm sorry, that was mean. I didn't mean to be that mean like that. That just happens. But anyway, I hope everyone enjoyed themselves. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and all that stuff. And of course, you don't have to do it. But I'd really like it if you did. If you don't care what I think, and you don't, it doesn't matter to you if I'd like it, that's okay. But, you, but the one thing you do have to do is you got to have a good day. As long as as long as you do that, I don't care if you don't like me or not. Got to have a good day. So as I always say, if you don't have a good day, you have nothing. And after that good day, hopefully I'll see you again. And I guess now there is only one thing left to say, and that is goodbye. <laughs>